uh, apparently, this is a multi-function device. You can use it as a scooter if you like. Works pretty good. Hello. So today we're gonna do some shredding. Not like the shredding on the mountain kind of snowboarding shredding, unfortunately. I would like to be doing that, but uh, yeah, I'm at work in New York City in the office. So we're just gonna do some paper shredding. Paper shredding with the True Red 20 paper commercial shredder. This is in Boston. Also, I did get the essentials that you should get um, before it as well, which is the lubricant sheets. Supposedly, you need to get the lubricant sheets. See that? Lubricant sheets. And then the shredder bags. And uh, you purchase them separately. So, probably got an extra 30 bucks. has a 20 minute continuous run time. Cool down time is 40 minutes. So you have to you have to let it sit for 40 minutes after you've been running it for 20 minutes. So yeah, it's a $200 shredder, not a $2,000 shredder. Um, can actually run, I've had a shredder that ran continuously and never got hot, never overheated. And um, yeah, something like that was like a couple brand. But, um, not spending that kind of money better now oh look and it even comes with little wheels that you can put on cute little wheels for the shredder to sit on but we'll see let's see i see we put the wheels on first they just snapped in there like that that's why they had it this way so when you open the box the correct way up the bottom is what shows first, so you can put the wheels on. You flip it over. Yes. That makes sense. And then... The wheels on this shredder do work. Uh, apparently, this is a multi function device, you can use it as a scooter if you like. Works pretty good. I mentioned about this shredder is that um, it does have a cord wrapper thing, Jake. So you can just wrap your cord up when you want to move it around so you don't have to worry about the cord getting all, you know, dropping around on the floor there. You just wrap it up and then off you go. Oh, I love the smell of new things. Always love that new smell. It definitely, definitely won't fit on your desk, but right beside your desk, it said, and it will. We were going to put a bag in here first. I can just, uh, oh, it actually came with a whole box of bags in there. There's a box down at the bottom, so I guess whenever you run out, just buy another box and just put it down at the bottom so you'll never run out. You always have an extra box down there. So we're gonna put a bag in here. This bad boy on, here's the power right here. Little black button here. Oh, it has also a security lock here. So if you have kids around or something, you can just uh, you can just put that in the lock position, and then the kitties won't get the, their hands chopped off. Now this isn't like regular copy paper poundage. That's like 20 pounds. This is 32 pounds, so it's much thicker. And um, so straight from the back, we're gonna give this baby a workout straight from the beginning. Um, and I'm gonna. Also, on top of that, I'm going to staple it so that there's a staple in the 21 sheets of paper. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, so 21 sheets of 32 pound with a staple in it. It did not want to take. It um, put a little red symbol here that said reverse. So I had to reverse. It has a little light up screen right here. So they're not like hard buttons. They're just digital buttons here. And here it tells you forward or reverse. And if something happens, if you get jammed or something like that, a little red um, paper will show up and then it'll say reverse. And you just push the reverse. We're gonna do 11 sheets, 11 sheets of paper. Let's see if this works. All right, so it took 11 sheets of 32 pound. So I ran out, got some 20 pound hammer mill regular copy paper. And it did it. Okay, we're now moving in time to October of 2022. It's been about a year that I've had this true red shredder here. Why did they call it red whenever it's not red at all? That's a good question. And I'm not sure what the answer is. Okay, the answer I believe is because it's, I believe a Staples product and Staples logo is red, correct? The Staples brand. Um, so maybe it is, it is a Staples brand product. That's why they call it true red. I don't know, just a guess. So in conclusion, it has been over a year now. It's 2022, October of 2022. And I have been using the paper shredder for a year and it works great. I don't have really any major issues with it. You can set it over to the side of your desk. Some desks it will go under just fine. You can put it like halfway under and then just uh, the shred. It is um, 25 inches, I believe, with the wheels. It is about 25 inches, 25 and a half inches in height. And in width, I believe it's about 16 and a half. Yep. And in diameter, it is about 18 and a half, 19 inches. And um, depth, it is about 11 and a half inches. Um, no real issues other than um, there is one thing that kind of bothers me with this shredder and that is just the plastic trash bag here. So whenever you go to close the door, you can see the trash bag in there, right? The trash bag in there. The door, it wants to go up and then you have this ugly looking trash bag sticking out, plastic clear trash bag sticking out. So you kind of have to like, you get it takes a minute to, there you go, and now we got it. Um, so that's a minor um, issue. And uh, other than that, um, yeah, whenever you're shredding like a hundred and more than 130 sheets, so 130 sheets will get you through one uh, run of about 20 minutes of shredding time, continuous shredding time. And then it will stop eventually overheat and you get that overheat signal here. Here. And then you have to wait. Now, do you actually have to wait 40 minutes? Because um, on the description, it says that uh, it's 20 minutes and then you have to let it cool down for 40 minutes. In reality, um, you run it for 20 minutes and then it goes off. Well, um, after about five, 10 minutes, the shredder will actually shred again, but it may only shred for like three minutes continuous. So um, if you wanna wait that 40 minutes to get that full 20 minutes where you can continuously just put in for 20 minutes, then you can wait that 40 minutes. But if you want to just wait five, 10 minutes, and then you wanna shred for another couple of minutes, it will operate. Um, that is from my experience. So um, I've been enjoying the True Red Shredder. I think it works just fine. 
haven't had any issues other than um, the ones that I have described. Threading just fine after a year. Um, now, one thing with this shredder is you don't have a feeder, so there's not like a paper tray that's angled to where you can put like three, 400 sheets in there and then just let it feed into the machine. Um, it does not have that, so you have to hand feed it. But with those machines that have the feeder, those will jam um, pretty easily. I had a $2,000 shredder. We had a $2,000 shredder that would jam. So I think that this uh, actually for three, two, three hundred dollars, um, this is a great buy. It's a good shredder. Haven't had any major issues. Um, so it'll shred cards. There you go. It will shred credit old credit cards. Just stick it in there. Bye bye. Um, and I can actually show you what it looks like. Okay, look at these blades inside. Whoa, there it goes. Did you see it? It just ate it. It just eat it. it will just eat cards, DVDs, business cards, credit cards. It'll eat them up. Um, as long as you put them in there. All right, it is a beautiful day in New York City today. Um, Look down the street here. There's the Royalton. They have a nice rooftop pool up there, by the way. Um, and bar, pool and bar. So um, that's the Royalton. And here's the Mondrian, Mondrian. And then here is Felix Roasters, right where that woman is standing down there oh so, yeah it is um felix roasters and um you get a good cup of coffee there it's not cheap it's um you could spend depending on what kind of coffee you get if you get some fancy coffee you could spend like 17 20 dollars on a cup of coffee there but if you're just getting like a small plain cup of coffee for like three bucks you can get it for three bucks and it's good quality bean so you're gonna enjoy it um, that is the Felix. Why am I doing an advertisement for Felix Roasters? I have no idea. Um, but, oh, I enjoy going to get coffee there every now and then. Just the regular plain coffee because I can't afford the, you know, the really fancy stuff. But, yeah, it's good coffee. Um, yeah, this is New York City today. October 10th. It is October 10th. And it's not too busy today. Oh. It is October 10th. And what is October 10th? Today is Columbus Day, that's why. Columbus Day, New York City, 2022. And um, down south of Midtown, it's not too busy because there's not a lot of people going to work. Um, so that's probably the reason. Just tourists. Tourists out there today. And there are a few. You can see in front of the Mondrian Hotel there. Few people standing out there waiting for their cars or whatnot. Got the Royal Tin way down there. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching the um, the conclusion for my True Red review. Um, it's a good good shredder for three hundred bucks, two three hundred bucks. Um, I uh, yeah, I would get it again. So. Um, See you next time on whatever video that is. Cool.